Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be making a creamy pumpkin exfoliation body scrub. We're going to be using two different types of sugar. We have our light brown sugar, which is actually amazing for promoting radiant skin, very healthy skin. Both sugars will remove dead skin cells off of your body. This white one, we're actually going to be making it into a little bit of an orange tinted color. We're going to be using mica powder for that and then we're going to be keeping the brown sugar just the way it is just to give it some color for the holidays. Halloween is coming up. This recipe also calls for shea butter. We're going to be using a total of eight ounces of shea butter and we're putting four ounces in four ounces because we're going to be making these two separately first before we combine them into our jars. So this is one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, four ounces of shea butter here, and then another four ounces right here. We're also going to be using pumpkin seed oil. Each side is going to have a quarter of a cup, so it's going to be a total of a half cup of pumpkin seed oil. We're also going to be using some essential oils. We're going to be using sweet orange essential oils, which has so many great properties for the skin. It has vitamin C in it, so it definitely helps reduce dark blemishes and spots on your body. It also helps to fight free radicals and prevent aging skin, um, promote cell growth and collagen. It also helps shrink large pores and controls excess oil to your skin. Cinnamon leaf is the other essential oil we're going to be using. It actually helps with calming dry skin. It enhances your circulation in your skin. Circulation. <laughs> it also nourishes your skin and slows the aging down and also revives the skin tone. Now pumpkin seed oil besides being the perfect for this time of year, um, it also has a lot of properties that help when you're exfoliating your skin. It helps with retaining moisture in your skin. It also fights free radicals to maintain a youthful appearance. So very great ingredients to be using in your sugar body scrub. So we're gonna get started on how we make this. Now we're going to actually start with making this sugar a little bit more colorful. I do not have orange pigment powder, but I do have a yellow and a brown mixed with white. So I'm going to add a little bit of each to get a hint of orange. You do not want to add too much. You want it to be very light when you first put it in the sugar because once it gets mixed in with everything else it will darken. So for this I'm actually going to start with one eighth of a teaspoon of brown powder. Now that I have mixed all the pigment in, you can see it's an orange. It's a little bit off orange. Didn't have a complete orange, but we did the best we can. At least it's got some nice color to it. The two of them together, I think, will make a really nice tone for the sugar scrub. <clears throat> so next, we're gonna get started on cooking the shea butter. We are gonna need to melt this down because it needs to be a little bit more smooth for us to be able to mix in the sugar with it. Afterwards, we'll be adding in the pumpkin seed oil as well as the essential oils during the cooling process. Let's get that started. Now, the only thing we're going to be heating up in the double boiler today is going to be the shea butter to get it softer. So I have turned on the stove and we're going to let that heat up and then we're going to be adding in the shea butter and letting it melt. We have allowed it to warm up for a little bit. We're going to be adding in the shea butter. This is only the first four ounces because like I told you before, we have to make these separately. 
so that we can make each of the sugars individually with their own color. So we are gonna have to give this time, since this is four ounces of shea butter, it's gonna take a little while to heat up, but we'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, now that the shea butter has completely melted down, got a few more pieces in, we'll just mix that up. We're going to pour this into a bowl and start one of the sugar scrubs and then we're going to add the other shea butter and allow that to melt while we're mixing the other one up. Okay, so now you can see that the shea butter is mixed into my bowl. It took approximately 20 minutes for this to melt down. I had it on a very medium to medium low heat. I wasn't looking for it to be extremely hot because I wanna be able to mix the sugar in and you don't want it to be too hot because it will start to melt it down into a liquid paste. So we're going to be adding in the pumpkin seed oil. And like I said earlier, that is going to be a quarter of a cup. If I can get this cap off. together. I'm probably going to let it sit for a few more minutes, maybe about five minutes, let it cool a little bit longer before I start adding in the sugar. And then I will add in the essential oils as well. Okay, so we are going to be adding some essential oils. Being that this is a little bit over four ounces, when you're putting essential oils in, you want to think about doing approximately 12 drops for every ounce that you have in there. I'm gonna squirt that between the sweet orange and the cinnamon leaf. So I'm gonna put in, for the four ounces, approximately 24 drops each into this. Okay, so as you can see from the first one we did, it is starting to cool. I'm waiting for it to get a smooth layer across the top before I add in the rest of the sugar. You'll know what I mean when you see it. Now we're gonna start with the second shea butter that has melted and we're going to be adding that same quarter cup of pumpkin seed oil. All right, we're gonna mix that in. Now we're going to be adding the same essential oils to this side. 24 drops of sweet orange. And we're going to be adding 24 drops of cinnamon leaf. Okay, mix that in nicely, and then we're going to be adding in half of this cup of sugar. mix that in and the same thing goes for this side we're going to allow this side to cool until it gets a nice smooth layer across the top of it that starts to form as it cools and then we'll be adding in the rest of the sugar and spinning that okay so we are letting these cool down but on a side note at this point as it's cooling is when you would decide whether or not you would put a preservative in it being that it is a body scrub, you could have it close to water. If you have it near the water and water were to get in it, it would actually decrease the life of your product once the water touches it, which could create bacteria and other kind of anti 
ew, gross things inside your product that you just don't want. So if you were gonna add one, it would be best to add it now. You always wanna add typically below 1% but above 0.5% to your recipe. If you're not going to add a preservative and you're gonna keep it just completely the way it is, just make sure that when you're using it, you use something to get it out of the jar prior to using it in the shower to exfoliate your body, and this way you do not get the product wet. Now, I gave this some time to cool down. I am a little bit impatient, so I actually stuck this in the fridge for a little while to speed up the process a little bit. I probably stuck it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Um, overall, it probably has been sitting now for an hour and a half. Um, I have stuck the other one in there as well, so I stuck that one in after this one, so I'll leave that one in there for about 15 minutes. So as you can see, when I start to move it around, it kind of has like that layer on it. It's almost like a film and it's starting to thicken from the sugar that I had already put in there. So now we can add the rest of the sugar into this mix. Now, the good thing about sugar scrubs is that you can always add less sugar or more sugar if necessary. So if you mix this up and you felt like it still wasn't where it needed to be, then you can always add a little bit more sugar to the mix. Okay, I have stirred this mixture up. And being that it's still a little bit too liquidy, we need to thicken it up a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more sugar. I am not gonna add any color to this sugar, being that it's a little bit darker than expected. So to lighten it up, I'm just gonna add the pure white sugar into there. This is actually one third of a cup, so we're gonna add a little bit at a time. Okay, so I ended up adding the whole one third cup of sugar, but I'm much happier with this consistency because we do want it to be creamy, but we just don't want it to be runny. So now I'm gonna check on the other formula that we had and see if it's ready. Okay, I just took the other one out of the fridge as well and it started getting that nice thick film around it. So we're going to add the rest of the brown sugar that we had here. And we're gonna mix that up thoroughly. Okay, just like the other one, this formula definitely needs a little bit more sugar added. So I got the same one third cup of brown sugar to add to this as well. We're gonna slowly mix it in and stir it thoroughly and see if we need any more. Okay, so as you can see, this one's much thicker, but we will let it settle a little bit and thicken up just a little bit more. And now I can show you where this one is at. So, now you have a scrub. So, we'll let the other one thicken and then we will place these in our jars. Okay, so they have cooled down this one is definitely a lot thicker, and being that it was used with white sugar, it is a little bit thicker. This one is a little bit finer, and that's because it has the brown sugar. As you know, brown sugar is super fine, and we're going to combine them into this jar. I'm gonna try to attempt to make a little bit of a design and see what we get when we put them together. But the combination of these two together is going to create an amazing exfoliation. Besides the fact that they smell amazing right now. So let me start this. I filled about 2.25 ounces. As you can see, everything is in there. I tried to make a design. 
we'll just say that's not my forte but it is an amazing scrub it's amazing for your skin it smells incredible you can make this yourself right at home and i'm gonna actually fill all of these other jars up and give them as little halloween gifts to some of my friends that i know would enjoy this so if you enjoyed this video please like it down below definitely share it to anyone you know and please subscribe to my channel for any future videos coming out make sure when you subscribe to the channel that you do hit the bell and that you also hit all so that you receive all my notifications for all my new videos if there's anything that you would like to see me make or do or even talk about or you just have a comment about something I've already done please leave that down below I am gonna leave the link again down below where I have gotten my products from the sugar I got from my local grocery store the other products that I have I have actually gotten from a website that I will leave down there including the jars and the mica powder that's in there so you will find that all in the description below Okay, now that I have filled all the jars, it made 10 2.25 ounce jars. I did have some product left over, which I will put in my own special jar so that I can use later for myself. These are going to be gifts. I'm going to make some labels that I can also put on these jars so that they know exactly what ingredients were in the product. So I hope you enjoyed making this video and I'll see you next time.